Hello there. My name is Cale Harriman, and I work in the Bookmobile Department of the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. And one of the things we do in Bookmobile is we visit classrooms and uh, talk about subjects. This is, this is one that I've made about sound called, called What's That Sound? So it leads us to a question, what is sound? Well, the scientific definition is sound is vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and can be heard by a person's or animal's ear. So the important things there, vibrations, and that somebody or something hears it. But what does that mean? Let's talk about what stuff is made of. All the stuff around us, what is it made of? You might know this, uh, or it might be the first time you've heard this. Atoms, which, you know, are usually shown like this. Actually, they're too small for us to see. But atoms get together to make molecules. Maybe you've seen that. That's good old water. Um, that shape is actually why snowflakes uh, freeze in a hexagon shape. But anyhow, another thing you probably know, what are the three states of matter? You're right, solid liquid, and gas. Here's a picture showing what the molecules are doing in those states. Solid, they're not really moving. They're just kind of locked in place. Liquid, they're moving some over each other. And gas, they're moving fast in every direction. All right, so here's something showing molecules just kind of bumping into each other like students on the playground. You know, you run around, you might uh, bump into another kid, or like a kid might kick a ball and it'll go zooming over there. Energy is transferred when these molecules make contact and bounce off each other. And here it's just kind of there's some moving, but sometimes the movements are more organized. We have a name for that. Waves. All right, all right, all right, all right, that guy's a bit, oh, oh. All right, maybe he'll make it this time. All right, he's getting up, he's getting on the wave. Oh. All right, he's gonna ride the wave and he's, oh, he's not, it's just the same thing over and over again. Okay, but what do waves look like? You just saw an example of one. But when we're, when we're representing waves scientifically, we tend to have diagrams like this. All right, and you see there seems to be movement here, but just, Watch these red ones. There's a red one right here, I'm pointing at it. It's not moving left and right, it's just moving up and down. It's transferring its energy to the next one, which is then moving up, which is transferring it to the next one. That's why there's that movement. That's what the water's doing. The water's basically just going up and down. All right, but that's one kind of wave. There's another kind of wave that looks like this. Energy pushes these into each other, and they just go back to where they started. All right, and that is what a sound wave would look like if we could see it. Waves travel through everything, and they go really fast. 760 miles an hour is the speed of sound in the air. Now, do you think it would be faster or slower in liquids and solids? Remember, in air molecules, the molecules are farther apart. Ooh, they travel a lot faster in water, way faster than that in, in uh, solid. 13,000 miles an hour through steel, which is one of the hardest things we have. But what travels faster than that? All right, you all know the answer to this. Light moves at 670, 670 million miles per hour. And you've observed this, like lightning, you know, you might see a flash of lightning, but then you don't hear the sound for a while. The light is moving a lot faster than the sound. Or fireworks, sometimes you hear the boom, sometimes you see the flash before you hear the boom. But anyway, let's try something. All right. We have four glasses here and they have varying levels of water. This is just water that I've colored various ways. 
Now listen for the sound that's made when I tap the glass with this ruler. Hear that? Let's go the other way. Hmm. Which one of these makes the highest sound? Which makes the lowest sound? Ooh, that would be the highest. Boom. That would be the lowest. Yes, no water in this one. It's all full of air. This one where it makes the lowest, it's got the most water and some air in it. All right, let's try something else. Okay. Listen for what's the highest and what's the lowest. It's like we're going higher. Okay. So this one's the highest in this case. This one's the lowest. It's the opposite of what happened when I tapped them. Where this one was the highest and this one was the lowest. Hmm. Now, when I blow into them, what instrument is that like? Instrument where somebody blows across a hole. Oh, the flute, of course. What, we're, what I'm doing when I blow across the top of that bottle, and you've pro probably done this on bottles before, go ahead and try it, uh, is you're basically playing the flute. This is a diagram of what's happening inside the flute. Somebody blows over it, and then the whole area here, all that air in there vibrates vibrates and makes a sound. And the more air there is, the lower the sound's going to be. But if somebody takes their fingers and they open up this hole near, near the opening, does this. There's less room for that sound, uh, for that air to vibrate. So it makes a higher sound. What we have here is vibrations make waves, and we hear them as sound. All right, here's a, here's a cymbal crashing. Somebody hits it with a drumstick. Look at that. Those things are made of metal, right? And it looks like it's flopping around.